Hello everybody, we're back with part two of the rebuilt wreck Ford Focus. Had a little bit of progress last night, as you can see there. And we've got we've got every broken piece off the front of the car now. Looks a little different. Hood off, got the front bumper cover off, the top radiator support is off, it was broke also. Driver side fender, the driver side inner fender, I'm going to repair that, it's just got a little tear in it, so I'll repair that. And the bracket slash box that holds the ECU right there. It's in, oh, I would gather to say 25 pieces here. It took a pretty good lick. Luckily, it didn't hurt the computer, obviously, because I did drive the car home. So that's a good thing. I just got it hanging by a zip tie just until I get the new part. Got that part ordered, and we've got the upper radiator support ordered. So that stuff should be here in a few days. We'll get that part put back together. And from there, it'll just be covering everything back up with new metal after I get the new metal and get it painted. I am lucky to have a fellow up about a mile away that does body work. He's gonna spray the new parts for me once I get them. Uh, not free, of course, but he's gonna give me a pretty good deal. That's where we're at. Pretty, pretty good night last night. I think I spent, I don't know, I probably, I was down here several hours, but I probably actually worked on this maybe two or three hours. I don't know. Everybody was down here. It was a, it was a circus for a while, but it was fun. Got some work done. Had some fun. Daughter and the wife cleaned the inside out while I was fiddling around with the front looks really nice they done a done a real good job on that I mean it was clean to start with but it was just just kind of dirty from from setting at the at the lot I bought it off of you know how I don't know a wreck vehicle just sets you know a lot of times they'll set for months before before somebody buys them or fixes them but uh, cleaned up really nice. Really clean little, clean little ride. Pretty good, pretty good. And got pretty lucky on the tires. The tires are, they couldn't have been put on very long. Cars get 60,000 miles, so I would say those tires were put on new not too long before this accident happened just by looking at them and we did run into one thing that was interesting if you ever want to know how long a set of brake front brake pads will last on one of these cars on average i would say i'm going to say 60,000 miles because these are probably i'm going to think yeah i know they are they're the original brake pads and they're shot. They've got maybe a sixteenth of an inch of pad left. And they've lightly grooved these rotors. I don't think it ruined them, but so about sixty thousand miles is what you're gonna get on a brand new set of brake pads on the front of one of these cars. That's a pretty safe bet. Just FYI. So we're we're moving right along here. Moving right along. <clears throat> Just wanted to give everybody a little little update of where we're at. And uh, we will do part three when we get a few parts on. Do a little, little show and tell of that. But 
uh, so far, so good. Kentucky stayed out.